So the style of it is like a newspaper. This is it. It says flawless, and this outfit is flawless. No, <laughs> E is for. Evangeline. Um, welcome back to another video. Woo! Make sure to like this video and subscribe. And click that notification bell so it has two little line friends coming out from the side. Yes, <laughs> in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one! Woo! And for the comment down below phrase of the day. Da, 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 da. Me, sarcastic? Oh, uh, never. <laughs> So go comment that down below for a chance to get a, a shout, shout out. out. So today's video is a challenge. Sister versus sister. So what we're doing is who wore better school edition. Back to school. school edition. Back to school. Ah uh, oh, yes, yeah. back to school because we're going back. We're not in school just yet, but we will be going back whether we like it or not. But still, there's bright sides to it, like outfits. Yeah. And especially <laughs> since we're gonna be at home, there's no dress code. We get to wear tank tops if we want to. For this, you guys get to choose who wore better, me or, or me. Likely me. It's most likely me. Um, me, 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 me. 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 So definitely follow our Instagram, Mercedes and Evangeline. Bam, 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 there bam. it is. And follow our individuals, Evangeline yes. Lomolino and, and Mercedes, Mercedes Lomolino. Lomolino. Because we're definitely gonna be doing a lot more challenges like this where our Instagram followers choose who wore it better. So we're gonna post a little poll on our Instagram saying M or E, and you guys have to click which one you think wore it better. Click, click the click, M, click. obviously. It's oh, no. a lot more easier to click. No, <laughs> E is for M is for marvelous. E is for accelerating excellence. M is for <laughs> mafabulous. Mafab? Um, mafabulous. M, <laughs> M is for monstrosity. <laughs> e is for egghead. <laughs> gets ugly, let's start the video. Yeah, yeah. Ba -bam. So the theme for this challenge is back to school basics. So you likely have what we are gonna be wearing, like backpacks and Backpacks. I can't think of anything else, but yeah, you get the point of this. So whether you go to traditional school or online school, this is the basics. <laughs> so we're gonna have three rounds of different clothing items. Like the first round is gonna be backpack. biker short. Oh, biker short. I'm sorry, I just had the idea of backpacks in my head because like that's all I could think of. The first round is going to be biker short. The second round is going to be skirts. Woo, skirts. I'm not very excited about that round. I'm very eager to get it done. It's okay though. It's okay. <laughs> In the third round, I think that we are both really excited for the third round. It is bibs. bibs. So it's like this. Yeah, like bibs. that. But it's like this is a dress. So yes. we're gonna like be wearing pants. Bibs are basically long overalls. Instead of it being shorts, it's long. Yes. Comment down below which one that you like to wear the best: skirts, biker shorts, or bibs. Ooh, Comment down below. Cool. I would like to know. And now it's time to choose out our clothes. Whee! I'm going first and I kicked Evangeline out because I'm not letting her see my outfits that I'm choosing because she is not stealing my inspiration. I'm winning because it's fashion and I love fashion. Don't even get me started. So, let's open up my closet. A lot of pink. I love pink. So the first round is biker shorts and I don't really wear biker shorts because I'm very petite and they're very long on me and flowy. So it's like not the tight look that everybody wants. So I have like one pair of biker shorts and it's this cute baby and it's cheetah print and I love it. So this is what I'm gonna work with. I love cheetah print and I feel like cheetah print is a very good fashion go-to because you can put something more basic with it. So the cheetah print really pops. So let's work with something like this. Gotta look for a shirt and top. I like this one. This is good, this is so good. Oh my gosh, this is really, I can do something really cute with my hair. I'm definitely gonna win this round. Woo! Mercedes 
fashion style is definitely a lot more fancy, just very professional. Whereas mine is more like streetwear, which is where I'm gonna own this challenge because, you know, streetwear with back to school basics, those definitely mix. But then big fancy dresses, that, that doesn't really mix as much with back to school. I think I'm gonna do really good in this. I think I'm gonna do really good. All right. So the first round is biker shorts. So for biker shorts, I think I can do really good with this because I got some pretty cool biker shorts, I gotta say. Like I've got these blue ones. Ooh, I, I'm gonna keep this on standby in case if I end up using it. I have, ooh, ooh, these. These are the ones we're gonna go with. So the style of it is like a newspaper. They've got like images and writing, all sorts of cool stuff. This is probably my favorite pair of biker shorts because they're just epic. Whenever you're bored in a car ride or anything, you just start reading your legs. It's very productive. So now we gotta find something to go with this. Wait a minute, wait. Ooh, this could work. This is a really good one. This is probably one of my favorite hoodies because it's like nice and thin so I can still wear it during summer. It says, I'm a cat, but that is because there's a hoodie with little ears on it. It's so cute. I like this. Yeah, this is this is it. This is what we're gonna be going with. Now we need to add some accessories to it. Back to school and back to school means backpack. Whatever it comes to my style, I do love having color all over the place. But I also like color blocking, like matching things together, like coordinating it. L like this, like this for instance, which I'm actually gonna use this cause this is good. Oh, I'm so good at this. I am absolutely gonna win this biker short round. Okay, so the next round is skirts. And I love wearing skirts. I'm actually wearing like a skirt dress right now. And I have a lot of skirts. So this is gonna be hard to choose which one. I have this really cute red skirt. It's so flowy. And I love the design on the top. I love this. Okay, this is a contender. <gasps> This one's the perfect one. It's perfect. I wear a lot of black and it can match all of my shirts. Every girl must have jean skirts because it literally goes with everything you can wear. And so this is a must have basic. Now let's find a shirt for this bad boy. <gasps> this is it. It's this flawless and this outfit is flawless. But bam, ah, this is so cute. And I can do like a cute hairstyle with this. Yes. Mwah. I see it's already. I can see the photo. I can see me winning. That's the most important part. Okay, so this next round is gonna be a bit more of a challenge for me. If you know me, you know I like to be comfortable. I don't like skirts. I don't have a problem with them. It's just I don't like to wear them personally. So I don't really have a lot of skirts. So uh, let's just go with this one. This one that was shoved at the bottom of my closet. See, I treat them well. This is a good thing to go off of. I like the stonewashed look of it. So let me think, what's something that could go with it? Ooh, some mismatched socks. I always have to have a pop of color because you know what, we gotta spice things up, add some flair, add some color. So definitely these socks. So now we just need to find a top. What's this? What's this? <gasps> oh, we found it, people. We found it. Wait, wait, wait. If you have to wear a skirt, this is how you do it. Last round is bibs. And I'm really excited because I'm wearing bibs right now. So I gotta find a different pair of bibs because if Evangeline was wearing bibs, she would be lazy and just leave them on and just put a shirt with it. But that's not what I'm gonna do. This should be faster because I don't have as many bibs even though I love them. This is perfect. It's because it has reversible and I know my bolts would go over the roof because it's reversible. You know, we love playing with reversible glitter when we can't focus in class. I could do this for hours. Now let's choose the top. It has to be like a cute pastel. Okay, yeah, that's cute. I love that, I love it. I see where I'm going with this. Ah, ah, I found the perfect one. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. And I have the perfect thing to go with it. This backpack. It's, it was meant to be, it's perfect. I'm gonna look so good for back to school. Oh, woo. There's no way Evangeline could beat this. No way. As soon as I heard we were doing a bibs round, I knew exactly which one I had needed. This one right here. Black goes with everything, people. So this is definitely a must-have basic for your closet. Now it's time to choose its pair. So let me see. I've got... 
Why didn't I choose this before? Duh. Duh. This is perfect. Bib round, more like win round. Watch out, Mercedes. She's gonna have no idea what hair. Okay, this outfit is literally so back to school and so my style. And it's so extra for the first day of school or even for Friday. Cause for the first day of school, you can be like, hey everybody, I'm here. And then for Friday, you can be like, guys, I'm ready for the weekend. So I really love this outfit because it's all comfortable and this outfit would be perfect for back to school because whenever you're not really feeling like getting too dressed up, too professional looking, you could just pop on a hoodie and then if you're tired and bored with the conversation, like let's say he starts talking about algebra, then you're able to just boom and catch some Z's. <laughs> the vision for this photo because of the fence and the wire but it looks good on camera <laughs> with how it turned out even though that it is a skirt it still ended up working out and I actually really like this outfit and it gives me like 90s retro sort of vibes I'm digging it all right now let's take the photo <laughs> hairstyle because I think that the outfit is really cute and very stylish and like it's so pretty I'm so excited I'm definitely gonna win period so this is probably gonna be my favorite round because I just love how the outfit turned out and the glasses it's all just like a perfect fit the shoes totally add the perfect finishing touch to the look it's awesome I am pretty sure I nailed this outfit and I'm definitely gonna win guys look at this it's a literal castle I'm definitely taking a photo in front of this posted the who wore it better so you guys get a vote and say who you thought wore it better so now we're gonna see the result and we're first gonna show each other our photos because we haven't seen them yet so let's see the first round which was biker short ready set reveal Ooh. omg i love how you style the biker shorts like with the cute like simple shoes and Yay. i love the leopard print and the leopard print like matching those shoes looks so fun now it's time to see the results to see who wore it better. All right, let's see. Oh. Ahahaha. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Evangeline <laughs> won. Oh. You won this round. Maybe I'll win the next round. Unlikely. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna do the next round because <laughs> I'm not letting a girl who closes her eyes to choose out outfits beat me. Um, this next round is skirts, and I love my background for this one. Like it's grungy but cute. I can't right, wait for you to see it. Great to show mine. Go! Boom. <gasps> oh, that's I so love that. Cute. Ooh, I like how it like coordinated the pop of red. I love it. And can I also say that isn't that my shirt? You, it's not your style. I took it. You only wore it for an event. That doesn't make it yours. Fair enough, fair so enough. So it's fine now. <laughs> but I love your mixed match socks for this. I love how the background of the Statue of Liberty matches your shoes and like your skirt. Oh, yeah. Now for the moment of truth. Oh, <gasps> I won. Congratulations. So it's a tie. Oh yeah, so this last one is gonna be the tiebreaker. But yes. woo! Now let's see the tiebreaker. Okay. This is the last round, and I'm very competitive now because I better win because we both wear overalls a lot. So it's hard to tell who's gonna win because we style them differently. Okay, are you ready to see my marvelous photo that you cannot beat? Only if you're ready to see mine. Go! Ooh! 
Ooh, I like that. I love yours though, cause like the coordination of all the light pinks and just like it radiates softy vibes. Oh, thank you. But I love yours, cause I love how you rolled up your overalls. Yes. And your yes. shirt is amazing. It's hard to tell who's gonna win this round, all but right. not that hard because I know I'm gonna win this round. Oh, but we'll see about that. <gasps> oh, that was a close match. That was oh. such a close one. <laughs> Just that I look really good in that outfit. Cause let me tell you, I felt pretty confident in that one. Congratulations, but don't get ahead of yourself right now. Because you know, our next challenge, I could win. I could win. You guys are gonna stick with me. You better stick with me. The results actually really shocked me because I didn't necessarily think I was gonna win. I actually predicted this was gonna happen. I predicted you winning. What? Like, you have such like artistic fashion sense and everyone likes your style. But then I thought I was gonna win, so oh, how the tables have turned. <laughs> we are definitely going to do this challenge again because it's gonna be fun how different scenarios, like, like different themes, like beach. Grocery store. Mall. Um, garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I better be in charge of the themes. <laughs> so comment down below the phrase of the day for a chance to get a, a shout, shout out. out. And speaking of which, here's this week's video shout out. Pew! Oh. oh. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Bye, our lovelies!